Well, welcome back to our family worship lesson for today. I'm in the church's nursery this morning, trying to mix the, the backgrounds up a little bit. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, Matthew's Gospel, the 7th chapter, and verse 12 specifically. Uh, but in order to give it a little bit of context, I'm going to read uh, verses 12 through 14. And uh, so uh, here we go. Uh, verse 12. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter it by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. So we're thinking specifically about uh, verse 12 today. If you haven't uh, heard the sermon that was preached on this uh, verse uh, this past Lord's Day, you can find it at our U- on our YouTube channel, um, and that appears on the screen below here so that you can follow along. It's not essential, but I think it will be helpful to you if you do that. Uh, Today, thinking specifically about uh, what it means when Jesus says, whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. Uh, That verse, of course, can be misused, just as the verse we looked at yesterday uh, can be misused, but this verse would be uh, misused to kind of a a feel-good, good person, kind of a uh, just be a nice guy and people will be nice to you, that kind of an understanding. And that's not what is in view here in this uh, verse. If you look uh, to the end of the verse, that should become very uh, plain to us. It talks about whatever you wish. Uh, this is the law and the prophets. Uh, so at the very least, Jesus is saying that the things that we wish for as believers cannot contradict uh, the law or the prophets. And so they cannot contradict God's word. There's several places where you can look at to help us understand the difference between uh, what is good and evil and how the Christian can't wish for the things that are evil. You could go to Proverbs 8 and verse 13. Uh, but you could uh, even just read, look a little further in the verses that we just read together um, at this point, looking at verse 13 and 14 of Matthew 7, where it talks about entering by the narrow gate. Uh, and so the narrow gate is restrictive. Uh, the Christian religion is not a religion in which everything is tolerated, everything is acceptable, everything is okay. Uh, that is the way of the world. And that, of course, is the agenda that the world is trying to promote at this point. Uh, but the Christian religion is uh, one that is based on a very limited and a very uh, intolerant view of Uh, of what is acceptable, both in what we believe in and what we practice. So for example, in John 14, verse six, Jesus will talk about himself as the way, the truth and the life that no one comes to the father except through him. And at the same time, he has given specific commandments to uh, his people to live according to these commandments. And those are not negotiable. So we wanna make sure our children understand that, that uh, when we talk about wishing uh, what people would do to us, we can't wish for things that are sinful. Uh, that would be contrary to the law and the prophets. And so we'll think about a little bit more about what that means as the week progresses. But get your children, children to begin thinking about those things. Uh, read to them from God's word. Uh, keep praying for and with them. And God bless you. And we'll see you next time.